Hi everyone, welcome to the service and I hope you'll enjoy what we will deliver to you after the service. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Let us pray uh, as we start. Lord, we thank you and we honor you. We pray that you may be with us even as we have this discussion. The Lord, you shall guide us and lead us in everything that shall say for your glory. And it's your name that you pray and believe. Amen. 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 All the people say, Amen. Amen. Uh, welcome again to our, our discussion today. And today I'm privileged to have a guest with me. And I will give her this chance so that she can be able to introduce uh, herself to us. So that we can be able to hear her voice. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I'm Diana and I'm privileged to be here with Pastor Shem. So today we are going to discuss one or two things and I hope you will enjoy. Yeah, thank you very much. And our discussion today is uh, uh, contentment. And uh, our scripture reading that will guide us is from the book of uh, First Timothy, chapter 6 and verse 6 uh, to 11. Then we will ask uh, Diana to read for us, uh, uh, First Timothy, chapter 6, verse 6 to 11. Okay, First Timothy, chapter 6, verse 6 to 11 says that, Now there is a great gain in godliness with contentment, for we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing, with this we will be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation, into a snare, into my senseless and ha harmful desire that plague people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all ki kinds of evils. It's through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs. Wow, that was very, very wonderful. It's a very well explanatory scripture. Uh, from 1 Timothy 6, uh, 6 to 11. And probably we can start by uh, trying to define uh, the word contentment. Uh, probably, uh, Diana, what is contentment? When you get to hear the word contentment, what is that that comes into your mind? Mm, the, to contentment, to me, means that it's a state of happiness and satisfaction. Wow, very good. Yes, it's a state of happiness and satisfaction. Being able to, to be satisfied with what you have as an individual. And we can see there are so many people who are not content probably with what they have because they don't have that sense of satisfaction in them. And it is very, very, very good to be content. So then, yes. are you content with what you have in life? Yeah, to me, I'm contentment. I don't have anything to complain about. Yeah, I'm satisfied. Wow, Diana is content with what she has in life. And even myself, I'm content with what I have in, in my life. Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, you who is watching us, whether you are content with what you have in life. And then, yes. what do you think that makes people not uh, to be content? I guess love of money mm -hmm. or like riches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you think like you don't have any enough of money, mm -hmm. I think you can't be content. You want to look more and deep bigger so that you can have a lot of money. Mm. Yes. Wow, that is very, very true. What makes people not to be content is not uh, not appreciating what they have uh, in their lives. Eh? And instead of appreciating what God has given them in their lives, they start now desiring for more, uh, which probably they don't have. And you find that people are so much worried because of the things they don't have and they want to have them and they're not content with what uh, God has given them. And that's the reason as to why many people uh, are not content. And from the scripture that we have read, uh, Diana, yes. what does the Bible say of how we came into this world? Like when we read First Timothy chapter 6, verse 6 to 11, say that, Now there is great gain in godliness with contentment, for we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. Wow, that is a very wonderful truth that we get to see in the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, that we came with nothing in this world, and we'll go out with nothing in this world. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes we get to worry uh, because of the things of this world. Perhaps, tunonanga mtu ameomoka sana, akona ndai, anandashele ndai kubwa kubwa sana, asisi tunaduma ya kukua na ndai, na tunajua kila mtu wanakona time yake, sindio? We cannot be all the same at the same time. There are people who will be ahead of us in terms of, uh, you know, uh, having, uh, for, uh, having many, well uh, mm -hmm. in their lives 
Uh, there are people who will be somewhere, just they are trying to come up. The fact is that we cannot be all uh, at the same time. And so it is very, very good to appreciate each and every stage we are at the moment. Pengine watu nunanga wake na magari makubwa, pengine wame go through life and a lot yes. for them to be there wherever they, they are. Eh? Yeah. Na sisi hata tujafanya kitu kubwa sana, hata ndio tuko shule, mm. hata tunaspire kukuwa kama mahali wako. It cannot be like that. Yes. Uh, we have stages in life and it is good to appreciate each and every stage that you are in life as a young person knowing very well if that if you work hard mm -hmm. you can able uh, to possess yes. that which maybe you desire to have and yes. that can be a very very good thing mm -hmm. uh then uh, yes. again from the scripture what makes people to fall into the temptation according to the what we have read in the scripture it says that but if we have food and clothing with this we will be content mm -hmm. but those who desire to be rich fall into temptation Yes, those who desire to be rich fall to, into temptation. We are yes. not saying that a desire, desire to be rich is bad, mm -hmm. but again, when you have that desire to be rich without appreciating what uh, you have, mm -hmm. you get to fall into temptation because you will be able to steal. Yes. For you to be able to get what you don't have, mm -hmm. or you're able to use other means which are not right mm -hmm. for you to get that something that you don't have to nanga wase wengine shule at ndio waweza kupata pesa siji wanaenda wana make friendships siji na ma lecturers siji kusikosi kuna watu nasikia wanaitwa ma sponsor eh sponsor wanyo na sponsor watu eh because you know when you fail uh, to be content those are the things that you able to uh, find yourself in mm -hmm. because you fall into temptation you'll go find all those things that you don't have in a wrong way. Yes. And it is not good at all, at all, at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, then in our country, yes. we have so much evil that is happening. Mm -hmm. What do you think uh, could be the root of this evil that is happening in our world? Again, the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. Guess, bribe, corruption. Mm -hmm. When you have leaders who are corrupt, mm -hmm. I guess those are the kind of things that can lead to evils in our country. Yeah, very, very true. And the Bible says that the, the root of all evils is caused by money. Yes. You know, taka muna pata sombili kwa siku, wata mm. muna pata somoja, wei toshika ni una pata. Iyo ni yako. Na siku ibo meiba. Mm. Na hakuna mtu wata kunyanganya. Iyo ni yako. But wile kutaka pesa mingi, mm -hmm. you are not working. Yes. Uh, you unakai bonde. <laughs> una expect kutaka pesa mingi. Kwa ni utatoka wapi? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it cannot be like that. Eh? You have to work so that you can able to get money. Yes. So it's good to be satisfied and to be content mm -hmm. in the state that you are in. Kama ni kusoma, wee jua tu ni kusoma wa nasoma. Iyo ni time ya kuso? Kusoma. Ya kusoma. Kuna time itafika, wanze kupanya kazi, wanze kupata? Kupata yes. tu. So mm -hmm. tukikuwa watu, tunajia appreciate kwa kile stage tukwa nayo. Mm -hmm. I think tutawaza kuwa na happiness kama venye umesema. Mm -hmm. Na tutawaza kutosheka mm -hmm. katika maishani. Na hiyo ni kitu ambao ningeta kuhimi doba mavijana pale inje mm. Komba tukue na hiyo roho ya kutosheka mm -hmm. Na kuji appreciate sisi wenyewe yes. Na kujua komba kila time mm -hmm. iko na wakati wake mm -hmm. So nini ni uh, what is that can, can be able to feel uh, the void in our hearts mm -hmm. to be content I think someone should be prayerful You should be a prayerful person So that like the little thing you have You have to be grateful And thank God that I have this less one Because there is somebody outside there Who like need that less thing that you have mm. Yes Very very true And the Bible says that uh, uh, Contentment with godliness yes. It is a great thing Ile kitu itakufanya ukue content kwa maisha yako Ni kukuwa na mungu Yes. Na juu kuwa na mungu ndiyo uh, suruhu wa kila kitu. Uh, Nye huwa pate na kila kitu kuzuri ambacho tunataka kutaka kwa ke. Na when we pass it, God pass it. And uh, his uh, righteousness, uh, he able to give us everything else that we need. Siri ni kujua Yesu. Kuka andani ya Yesu, tutakuwa content. Na tutajua kila kitu ambacho tutaomba, God atatupatia kwa wakati wa. Yes. And God, as we all know that God, God gives you what you need, not what you want. Very, very true. Like yes. the way we looked last time on our topic of prayer that God normally gives us what we need. But we see that we don't attack. Because we don't want to do a visual. We don't want to do a visual. We don't want to do a visual. We don't want to do a And so, to keep on the mungu and the mungu, yes, we don't want to do a visual. We don't want to do a visual. We don't want to do a visual. Watu wametushweka kwa mioyao, mm -hmm. atakuwa na furaha katika maishani, 
atuweza ku appreciate hata ile kitu kidogo, kidogo. Mungu anatufa anatufanyia mm. and that is very very good uh, yes. then as we finish yes. what do you think are the practical examples that you can apply in your life for one, you to be content one thing to me mm. i'll be grateful mm. i'll have to be just grateful mm. and thank god for what i have mm. and what um, i need in the future mm. yes wow being grateful Yes. It is a very, very uh, key thing. Mm -hmm. Even the Bible tells us to give thanks at all times because mm -hmm. it is God's will. Mm -hmm. So it's very good to be grateful for the little things that we have. Yes. And then as we become grateful and thankful, then God will continue blessing us mm -hmm. and trusting us with more. Yes. So being grateful is one thing and appreciating also yes. these little things that we have. Then by doing that, We'll live a very, very, very grateful life, mm -hmm. and God will be able to, to bless us and to see us through in yes. each and everything that we do. So, as we finish, Diana, yes. what would you like to tell our youngsters who are watching there, uh, in as much as our contentment is concerned? To me, I'd like to tell them just to be grateful mm -hmm. and appreciate everything that they have, even if it is the little thing. I just appreciate and be prayerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God you've will had, help you. Yes, very well. Mm -hmm. You've heard from Diana to be grateful and to appreciate each and everything that God gives you. By doing that, God will be able to increase you in bigger ways and you'll be able to experience his blessings in your life. So thank you very much for joining us. Our topic today was contentment. Mm -hmm. And I pray that God may be with you, may give you contentment in your heart to be always content with everything that you get. And by doing that, God he will continue blessing you in bigger ways and we'll continue to enjoy his blessings. Thank you very much. Until we see each other, bye and God bless you.